Why do CrossFit when you can just cross your arms? It makes perfect sense in my brain. It's vlogging day 721. I keep doing this thing to myself where I, I like work through being hungry until I'm at that place where I like am desperately hungry. It's a problem and I need to stop doing it. I need to start eating more regularly and taking better care of myself. That said, thankfully, you all voted on Patreon for El Nepal for the Mexican food of the week, or just the food poll of the week. So I'm gonna go there because that I don't have to make any decisions that way. It's uh, gonna be a little bit of a trip to get there, but it won't be too bad. And so I'm gonna head there, get that. And then the second thing I was thinking about hitting today, if we have time, because it is gonna be a little bit pressed since I have a meetup this evening, is uh, national sales. I think we'll wait on that though instead, because I don't really feel like going and trying to buy shorts today. How about I do a little bit of an update uh, for those of you who maybe have been bouncing around a little bit, haven't been here for a couple of days, get caught up to just kind of what's going on in life right now. Something I used to do every two weeks and have uh, let, let drop. There are a lot of things I've let drop. I need to get my editorial calendar put back together. But first, I need food because if I don't get food and I keep working, we're all going to regret it. It's not going to be, not going to be happening. <laughs> So the area I'm going to is called Pigal. That's the metro stop and the neighborhood. Just to forewarn you, if you're gonna go get a taco at the Taqueria or anything, there's a lot of really fun stuff up there. There really is. There's a lot of good restaurants and it's it's in a fun area, but it's also the, well, it's not really the red light district, but it's kind of like the sex shop area. And if you're not familiar with or comfortable with that kind of stuff, good to know before going into it. It's not gonna jump out and bite you, but I remember the first time I moved to France, I was moving to Nice actually, and they're working on the train station area a lot right now. But when I first got there, I remember stepping out of the train station and right in front of me were two story tall letters that just spelled out in bold lettering sex and for like a uh, just out of college fairly naive waspy prudish whatever you want to call me kid whatever I was I was just like Grr! I didn't know what to do with it so I recognize that it can be a little bit off-putting so just to forewarn you pig Al. when the allies liberated Paris GIs used to refer to it as pig alley just give you an idea so that's where that nickname comes from if you ever hear that which you won't because nobody calls it that now but the good old boys called it that it's a fair description I suppose <laughs> So as for what's been happening the last couple of weeks, or a little bit longer, I did go back to the States for two weeks, a couple weeks ago. It was really good. Spent a week in New Orleans with my friend Natasha, who is promoting her new book, which is coming out in November now. It's really exciting. She's getting a lot of press for that. It's going to be really successful. It's a young adult fantasy. You should definitely check out when it comes out. Pre-order it. And uh, so I was hanging out with her for a week, and then went to VidCon, which is also really good. Left feeling fairly inspired. Am I going down the wrong street? I'm going down the wrong street. Let's go back up here. I always get the streets off this roundabout mixed up. Actually. I might have been doubting myself, but it's what you get for talking to a camera instead of using it as a GPS. So, I don't know. I was right to second guess myself. It's just over here. My time in LA was really, really good. Caught a couple Space Invaders. Felt really inspired for coming back and getting my vlog moving in some fun ways. Just trying to catch up on the rest and do it. I also managed to successfully surprise my family, which was really exciting. Uh, it was really fun to jump up to Spokane and uh, see them. My parents had no idea I was coming. I'd actually gotten permission explicitly from my mom not to come uh, because I didn't know that I'd be able to afford it. When I bought the tickets, it was already kind of like pushing it to go to VidCon. And then uh, by the time I got there, I was like, I, I, I can do this for sure. So a couple weeks, I think it was like a couple weeks to a month before I actually went to VidCon, I bought some a round trip plane ticket from LA up to Spokane, popped up, said hello, surprised them. Uh, had a nice couple of days and then uh, flew back down to LA right before flying back out to Paris. So I barely got any time with my buddy Jeff, but managed to get a couple things done, which is really, really good. This one's cochinita. Okay. This one's alambre and this one's carnitas. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank God these guys are here. I gotta try this one too before I get lost in this because I I want to stop filming and just shove my face in this. Really good. I'm gonna put some salsas on this and then it's delicious. So delicious. So glad. Thank you for voting on that, by the way. That was good. They have the original apparently is up on the canal. They were saying that opened seven years ago. It was the first taqueria in the city. I've not been to that before. It's only takeaway, but you can get your tacos and go sit on the canal, and that's just fine by me. So definitely have to do that one of these days. I'm going to go get some coffee since I'm in the KB area, and then uh, I don't have my computer with me, so I can't do any work with me here because I didn't plan that very well. So I guess I'm gonna have to go home after I get the coffee, or read a little bit more, which is actually really tempting because finally reading Reg... Never fails. I'm finally reading Red Shirts by John Scalzi. It's really good. I'm really, really enjoying it. I've been wanting to read it for a really long time and just never did. Finally downloaded it because you know what? I, I just want to keep reading fun and good books more and more. I mean, I like reading, but uh, I realized that I've been making myself read a bunch of books I didn't really enjoy that much. And so I'm just trying to read books that I'm really into and uh, not finishing the ones I don't really care that much for or slowly finishing them as I read ones I really like. Anyways, I guess that's an update on what's going on too. That's what I'm reading right now. What are you reading? Let's get some coffee. place and in the summer having all that space outside it's amazing I need to put it on the mapster I haven't put it on the mapster yet but I will anywho I gotta go home get some work done and then I'm meeting up with Sonia again she's gonna bring the original drawings of the shirt of the month this month so we could look over those the other day and then forgot so we're gonna do that this afternoon before the meetup have the meetup and then uh, we were just talking at KB as well about doing a taco meetup in August, for those of you that are wondering. As we near the end of the third season, it'd be kind of fun to wrap up the third season with a meetup and with tacos. These guys have got the space and the tacos for both, so uh, tentatively planning August 19th. Mark your calendars. I'll, I'll talk more about it in the future, I'm sure. Let's go. One of the scams that you run into on the street is gonna be the, uh, what is it, the three, the three, three something Monty, right? You're probably aware that there's some sleight of hand happening there. What you may not be aware of is that the cup guys come in teams. So they're not just one person or two people running the cup thing. There's actually a group of them hanging out that make it look like there's already a crowd ready to go. So if you stop and you wait long enough, you'll start to see that there's a certain number of people, like three or four, I think it varies depending on where you're at that never leave. One or two act as the lookout, one guy's obviously running the cups, and then a few of them act as if that they're just people that are gambling. So, as you're watching, you'll notice that a couple people keep winning. Like, you're following the ball, and you're like, oh yeah, it's totally right there. Somebody steps up, they make a bet, they win. And you're like, oh, pff, I could win. So after you watch this happen a couple of times, you can hear somebody winning in the background there. After you see that a couple of times, you're like, oh, pff, I could win. You step in, you try, and you lose. And you lose your money. And like, dang it, so should have won that. And that's how they get you. As soon as you've left, they reset. That girl that won, she gives the money back over to the guy. They kind of reset the board. And then they start all over again with the next set of suckers that come along. So good luck if you want to try and win, go for it. But it's definitely not a clean game. Anyways, now that I've outed them, hopefully they don't come for me, let's go home. I'm home, magically. One of the things I forgot to mention too, at El Nopal, they had uh, two salsas. One was mild, one was spicy. The spicy one had some real kick. I put some of that in one of the tacos. Whew. Yeah, it was really good. I actually doubled down on the salsa on that one. I put both in that one. Ah, it was delicious. So that's highly recommended. Thanks again for voting on that, patrons. And what else, is, what else is new in my life lately? I mean, the last couple of weeks have kind of turned into just settling back down into life in Paris. It's good to catch up with everybody, start seeing friends. Summer in Paris is really, really social. It's actually very difficult not to go out and be social, so I'm, I'm gonna have to work double hard to do that. I mean, people will leave you alone if you wanna be left alone, but of course, you, then you suffer from FOMO and are worried that, oh man, like everything's going on and I'm not out there. So I don't wanna, I'm, I can be kind of a social butterfly, but I'm also trying to give myself some space because I'm still definitely in need of a slower pace for the next couple weeks is my goal. I do want to try and hit, I know we don't have the goal board up. Uh, for those of you who haven't been around that long, I used to have a giant goal board on the back or on the wall right over there. I took everything down because we painted in here. What is this? 
I already have some weird markings on the walls. Don't know where those came from. But with a new, a fresh coat of paint, you know, so too have we just kind of kept everything plain for the moment. But I'm gonna build a new goal board here soon and uh, and redo it based on how, like I'm really looking at taking action on my dreams, basically. So I wanna make sure that we do that soon. But one of the goals, if you'll remember, was hitting 40 countries in this season. And I don't remember how many countries that means I have left, but I'm running out of time. So I'm, I need to start looking at some cheap flights and just go to random places at this point. Just weekend trips or something like that should do it. I don't really want to travel that much right now though. I would really like to chill. So that's kind of the internal debate going on right now. I, I really just want to chill and uh, I need to write, I need to record the audiobook of Couriers Off Grid. That's not due until October, but I'd like to get it done sooner. And I think it's a good review as I write the sequel again. And not again, but you know, as I start working on the sequel. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure that out. The other thing that's missing in my life right now is a very good consistent place that I can go and work. One of the things that I miss about the United States is coffee shops have tons more space, they're more comfortable, it's easier to sit and write for hours at a time than the coffee shops here in general. I have a lot of coffee shops that I really love here, and there are a couple that I have in mind that I think I'm gonna start frequenting a little bit more just to write, but it's not It's not the same. It's really not the same here, uh, and so if I do find one of those coffee shops, I'll be sure to let you know. Yeah, just trying to get that all figured out. So anyways, I'm settling in. I'm still a little bit like emotionally exhausted. If you were following, I definitely had a couple of rough days while I was in California. Uh, those rough days have haunted me a little bit here and there, but generally, I'm doing a lot better and I just need to keep sleeping and right now it's just we stayed out really late last night for Phil's birthday It was kind of crazy had a good time. It wasn't like nuts, but you probably seen the, the black X here Happy hour drinks for all of us for the entire evening and so that's neither here nor there Basically had a great time out pretty late I'm just just generally need to recover from life for the next couple of weeks as best I can But I still want to do some fun things I want to kick up the French Friday notch and do some extra videos about Paris about food here about whatever while tourist season is on high because obviously Obviously, that's how many of you found me was through the Metro video or the Louvre video, those kinds of things. So I want to make sure that more people have an opportunity to find me and I need to broaden that net a little bit. And I know it's fun just to see Paris and to explore and go to those things anyway. So let's do it while we can. All that to say, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I hope that you'll tune in again tomorrow for more madness. I think I'll probably do Immersive Ships Monday. I haven't done one of those in a while. Trying to get back to the structure, both in the vlog and in life in general. So hopefully you'll be here with me for all of that. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow for that. Feel free to watch another video. It's up here. This one. YouTube's supposed to be suggesting the best video for you in this corner. You can let me know how good of a job that's doing. And that sometimes I pick a specific one, you know, based tied into the video that we're doing. But what is this one? Is it good? Do you like is it a was the one that you'd actually enjoy? Let me know. Hopefully that, that works. And I'll see you tomorrow.